<laughs> the whole thing about what we're gonna do is take this four liter engine, or take the rods, the pistons, the crankshaft, and put it in our little 3.5 here. So this turns this into a little stroker motor. So we're building a stroker 3.5 liter uh, V6. What is up guys, Eric here from Racing Ram Fam, and today we are getting a 4 liter engine to go into our 3.5 to make a Stroker V6. We are at You Pull Our Parts in Rosemount with the Fluffaluff and Johnny. Uh, we found our 4 liter. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is the minivan's not all smashed up, so hopefully the engine's good. So we're going to get the motor out of this, we're going to pull the tranny off of it, we're going to take the oil pan off of it, and probably everything else because they're going to literally charge me for everything on this engine and we are going to make it into a short block and yeah that's the plan so we're going to get this engine out i'm going to go grab a crane hi john yeah. hi jt hey <laughs> i'm going to go get a crane so we can yank this thing out and we're going to undo wiring harness and we're probably going to make a short block so we don't have to pay for the heads and everything screw it we're cutting the wires that's why i said just cut them it's a junkyard <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's a cable cutter in there and then there's a wire snips in there. That's cable cutter. Yeah. Just use a cable cutter. I'll cut through everything. Alright, Dan. Alright guys, I'm gonna get a cherry picker. We got a cherry picker boys. This thing's huge. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, it is. All right, guys, so now we got the cherry picker. We're going to start plucking this baby out. Um, someone did most of the work for us already. So it's pretty much as good. Good job, we got that little job away. <laughs> so, yeah. Get out of the way and start plucking it out. Yeah, someone did most of our work. We just got harness. Yeah, so just and one lines uh, and stuff. Yeah. So, and we can start hooking it up. We'll have to go grab a seatbelt or something. You're gonna be the stars of the show, and I'm gonna go find a seatbelt that or something that we can hook up to this to pull it out. Probably a seatbelt. I get to use my tool. Excited? Let's see it. Show it off to the world, JT. Oh yes. Snap on. See it back there? It's like the. Just yeah. cut off or just... Cut. Yeah, let's just see if one's already oh. unbolted somewhere. I want to cut that. Is there something? Yeah. yeah, see, someone used it to, yeah, to get it out. That's it. We can unbolt the bottom one and then cut it. We'll just cut it up here. Pull it out a little yeah, bit. Moved when I got the third bolt out. Yeah, it's probably sitting on it. Yeah. That's why I said just be careful. Um. I want to push another wheel underneath your open. Nah, it's not going anywhere. I mean, it might, but. Actually, not really. We're getting a seatbelt too, so we'll be able to hook up to it. Okay. Alright, guys, I'll let you check back in when we get a little bit more progress. The camera's running low because I forgot to put the battery in that I charged all night for this. Damn it, Eric. <laughs> My other camera's in the truck, so if worse comes to worse, I can go grab the other camera. But we're going to try to save this one. So, we're undoing CV axle, and then we're going to hook a seatbelt up to it and lift it up and start unbolting random things. Did you get this threaded in good? I, it's a pretty long bolt, and so yeah. Like, way, way more than enough. I just kept threading and threading. Technical difficulties.
<laughs> Thumbnail. <laughs> the whole thing bounced. <laughs> Don't go by it. Fuck the tool. Yeah. Don't go by it. You know? John, your oh. foot's more important than the tool. <laughs> I don't give a shit about the tool. Alright. Put this cranny on both of Sweet. And then we can just stand it up, all of us, and not use this sketchy thing. <laughs> Oh. Wanna say anything? Yeah, that was pretty sketchy. Yeah. This thing sucks. Yeah. You pull, you need to you need to upgrade your crane. Say that again? They need to upgrade their cranes. That is true. We got the engine out, we flipped it on its side because we're now unbolting the transmission from it. Um oh, yes. we're pulling like the power suit pump, uh AC compressor and just everything off of it so we don't get charged for that stuff. Um and yeah. Uh, everything's going well. It was really sketchy using this hoist because it kept falling. But it came out, no one got hurt. And yeah. Alright guys, we got the engine totally stripped down, transmissions off of it, torque converters off of it, uh, AC compressors off of it, and just about everything. Uh, thanks John and JT for all the help. So what we're going to do with this is you guys are going to have to see in the next video, but we are going to be building a stroker motor from parts from this 4 liter and our engine block with our 3.5. We we're probably going to do some custom cams, and we're just going to do something different. You know, it's not going to be a 5.7 Hemi. It's not going to make insane horsepower, but it's going to make good horsepower. Oh, yes. It'll be fun. It'll be something different. And it's going to be Chastity's car, the baby hauler, so it's not like she needs 500 horsepower. So, I think it'll be baby something cool. Be, baby doesn't need to be thrown around at all? No, but it'll have enough yeah. passing power, <laughs> and it's going to get pretty good gas mileage, too. And it's going to be pretty quick, because it's all-wheel drive. And the car only weighs 4,000 pounds. And the horsepower number we're looking for is going to be more impressive than a newer V6 car. So, it should be pretty cool. So, we're going to go buy this engine now, haul it in the truck, and then in the next video, I think we're going to start disassembling this engine and pulling the parts out. And I'll explain what we're actually going to do with this 4 liter and our 3.5 liter and everything we're going to do. So, I'll see you guys back at my house where we're going to unload the 4 liter from my truck. So we'll see you guys in about two seconds. We made it. Engine's back. Uh, pretty fun loading it up at u pull with their junk-ass cherry picker. Yeah, real fun. Yeah, it was real fun. Um, but, yeah, the engine's here. So now we're going to get it out of Betsy, bring it in the garage, and probably put it... Do I have an engine stand? No, because that one's on an engine stand. Yeah, you got tires, though. <laughs> yeah. Huh. I don't know. Maybe we'll just put it on the ground for now. All right, not, Yeah. Or on a tire or something. I don't know. We'll probably just leave it on the cherry picker for now. Oh, you pull fun. Right, we gotta move a bunch of stuff, get the cherry picker over here. Cherry picker! Oh yeah, look at this. This is a quality cherry picker. Unlike you pull. <laughs> we got the engine in here, right next to our 3.5 block that we have sitting right here. So we did get the crankshaft out of the 3.5 and it is totally trash. The rod that spun a bearing or the journal where the where it spun a bearing on the crankshaft ground itself down 50 thousandths of an inch and that's way too big for an undersized bearing uh you only can go 20 thousandths so that crankshaft is trashed so we didn't really have any options for this engine so what we're going to do is take this four liter engine we're gonna take the rods the pistons the crankshaft and put it in our little three five here so this turns this into a little stroker motor. So we're building a stroker 3.5 liter uh, V6. So it will be, the displacement will be, I think a four point, I think a 4.0 liter or a 4.1 liter or something like that. I will double check that after we get it all apart and measure some stuff. But yeah, this was cheaper than buying a new crankshaft for this. This engine was 150 bucks. We're taking a little gamble on it because we don't know the conditions of everything, but hopefully it's all good. The oil looked good on it. So I think it's all good. And the minivan was hit. So that's another good thing to know. Um, so yeah, so we're building a stroker 3.5 liter. We're gonna be doing, so a four liter crank rods pistons in it. It'll be like 10.2 to one compression ratio. And then we're gonna get some custom ground cams for it. So hopefully we're in that like 
320, 350 horsepower range, naturally aspirated on this engine. We decided to go this way instead of turbo because this is gonna be my girlfriend's car daily. And I really don't wanna turbo it because just the upkeep on it. Maybe in the future we'll turbo it if this videos get a lot of views and a lot of likes on it. It's just very expensive right now and I don't see it very practical right now for the baby hauler. Uh, we are making a lot more power than this did from factory. This made 245 horsepower, I think. So this is going to bring up the torque because it's stroker. It's literally a bigger displacement engine. It's going to be a bigger displacement engine. And it's going to go up in horsepower because we're going to have better flowing cams. We might do some port work to the heads and the intake manifold and bolt-ons and headers and all that stuff and a custom tune and all that. So she's going to make some good power. I decided not to do the 5.7 Hemi swap because it was too expensive. And I think it's going to be cool. No one's done a stroker v6 on youtube so that's what we're going to do we're building a stroker v6 naturally aspirated uh we can race jt's car we'll go race some people with it all-wheel drive magnum stroker v6 so yeah guys i hope you like the idea on what we're doing the plan that we are doing um uh thank you guys for watching stay tuned in the next video we'll rip apart that four liter and start getting the crank pistons and rods out of it as always, guys, keep it boosted, and we'll see you guys in the next video.